Ryan Garcia officially reacts to Devin Haney suing him. Yes, that's right, suing him. Now, I made a video about this earlier. Please check out part one. My name is Ego. I've been covering boxing over 10 years. The best in the business, and it's not even close. So we got some interesting news. Devin Haney decided he was feeling froggish, and he wanted to leap. So he decided to sue Ryan Garcia and Golden Boy. Again, check out that first video for more details on the lawsuit at hand. So with that being said, him suing, things have now gotten very interesting. Very, very interesting. He's alleging fraud and battery, which I said this before. I don't know how well versed you guys are. I don't ever recall a time like in boxing history where a fighter sued another fighter from a fight that they had, not in the streets. Like, I'm from a different era. Like, remember when Mike Tyson was beefing with Mitch Green and he lumped his eye up? That was some street fight stuff. This is not, the person that Devin Haney fought at the OC County Fair wasn't Ryan Garcia. So I would probably understand a bit more if there was some kind of fracas or altercation outside of the ring that led to a lawsuit. But again, you guys let me know. I can't recall a time where there was a pro fight. And that's with a failed PED test or not. There's been other people where some form of cheating has been suspected. Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury. Also Miguel Cotto. Um, Shane Mosley and Margarito as well as Cotto. And the list goes on and on. You know, there's been other guys who have popped dirty after the fact. And I don't ever remember any fighter. So Devin Haney and his team, they're definitely looking to set a precedence for this. And I guess they feel like we can make Ryan pay and make an example because he has hurt our stock. So it says the fraud count is connected to Garcia's sign claims that he would fight drug free and that he would make weight for the title fight. Again, I'm not a lawyer, but this lawsuit, to me, sounds very flimsy, <laughs> very flimsy, because this is just like when the Haney's kept complaining to the New York State Athletic Commission. Same attorney, same kind of scenario, and the same, they're lodging the same complaints. Ryan had a rehydration IV that was illegal. It had a yellowish tinge. Ryan said he would make weight. What are we talking about, people? He did say he was going to make weight. But in the court of law, you have to prove what you're saying. You took money from Ryan Garcia to make that right. That's fair game at that point. I don't understand. Am, am I insane? Am I getting through to you? Does this make sense? You took the man's money when you knew he tested. Well, actually, you didn't know he tested positive, but you knew he had failed the weight because the weigh in later was a ceremonial weight, right? So you had already known and he took it on social media and said, ha, 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 I miss weight. Great advantage for me. He tweeted it. I have it posted. I've talked about it. So you knew he missed weight well before you got to the actual weigh-in because it was just a ceremonial weigh-in for the crowd. And he already taunted you, and you still took the fight. You took his money, and you proceeded with the fight. So I don't, I don't see how you're going to win with something like that. However, let's get back to Ryan Garcia and his reaction. Ryan Garcia has officially reacted to this, and he didn't say too much, but... First of all, look at the song he posted. He posted Kanye West. She take my money. Well, I'm in need. Yeah, she's a trifling. Oh, she a gold digger. She, he posted that. Way over me. Now I got to take all they bad at the showbiz. Okay, little friend. 
He posted Yay featuring Jamie Foxx Gold Digger. That's that's pretty funny. Y'all got to give Ryan props on the witty humor. That's pretty funny. So he posted breaking Devin Haney suing Ryan Garcia for battery fraud in unjust enrichment. Enrichment. <clears throat> Ryan Garcia says, I'm being sued for doing my job. Crying emoji. This fight has been a Netflix documentary, but this right here is the finale. <laughs> so he seems to be taking it pretty lightly. Your honor, he simply struggles with left hook syndrome. So he back making jokes, trying to roast Devin Haney. And Ryan's dad popped out. Sometimes you got to pop out and show ninjas. Certified boogie, man. I'm the one to up the score with him. Let's find out what he had to say. Only on Boxing Ego. What a loser. Devin Haney still trying to convince people why he got whipped. Ryan's supplement was contaminated without his knowledge, so now he wants to come up with battery. His stock is definitely going down more than ever before. Nobody will want to fight him because they will be afraid to win against him. Let's recap. First, he accepted the three-pound limit, got paid, came in heavier than Ryan in the ring, got dropped three times, more like five times, which that part's fact. I've already told you that. Didn't want a YouTube to take down the ab beating he took from Ryan. He messed up the relationship with Eddie Hearn due to being exposed. Wait, didn't he come above the rehydration clause against Regis Progre? Of course. He will not mention that because he won the fight. He is a sad individual who can't take a punch or a loss. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I can't front the Garcias is kind of cooking. That was pretty funny. Now listen, hey, the way he, the way he said that was crazy. He said he can't take a joke or a loss. Boom, roasted. So we'll see. I'm looking forward to it, people. I'm not being sued. I ain't do nothing wrong. So yeah, yeah, I want to see it. Bring this fight has been a nightmare since the inception. Leonardo DiCaprio voice. Since the inception, this fight has been one big telenovela and one big soap opera. General Hospital, right? So, you know, add to it. Let's we are we all the way strapped in and buckled up. Let's let's see what happens next. Again, from my perspective, check out my video where I talked about the lawsuit in its entirety. I went over point by point what was being accused. Some of it sounds very flimsy. I'm just here to tell you. And it's funny because the Haniacs, they're like, oh, yeah, good job, Devin. You know, sue him, take him to the cleaners and sue him for everything. I they It's a lot of people, they didn't even look at the lawsuit. Like, I have a copy of the lawsuit. You got people who saying this, take them to the cleaners. Yeah, you're doing it. Good job. And they try to hype it up. They ain't even read the lawsuit. They don't even know his chances of winning. They really don't even know what's being accused. So I do find that pretty hilarious. You got people, they love the internet and jumping on it and voicing their opinions and stuff. But they're so lazy, they don't even take the time to do any research. So they don't even know what they're talking about. They don't know outside of maybe an overview. They don't even know what this lawsuit is about. So me, I always educate myself. Good luck to Devin suing Ryan Garcia. Like I said, I'm not being sued. So um, I'm curious to see how it all plays out. But uh, again, you got a lot of Haney acts and they're like, yeah, do it. Do it to him, Dev. Cheaters need to pay and all this type of stuff. Go look at that lawsuit because to me, it definitely looks questionable. Um, some of the talking points that they have. And then you have Bill Haney saying after lawsuits and, you know, putting paperwork on Ryan saying Devin's the face of boxing. It sounds pretty ridiculous to me to say he's the face of boxing, but then you're saying he's the face of boxing, 
but then the lawsuit is complaining that Devin has taken a brand hit and you're causing a loss of wages and his value for like upcoming fights to have plummeted because of what happened. And he didn't sign up for a fight that wasn't fair. But again, you got to understand whether you believe, see, I, I don't even know why I'm on this track. I should let the outlaws ride on you in the court of law. You have to prove what you're saying. Ryan has maintained the same thing. Tainted supplement. I didn't know. I didn't intentionally ingest anything. And it's funny because the Haniacs, they'll say, no, Ryan knew and all this stuff. Bill Haney was working with Alicia Bumgardner. She popped dirty for something. And she did her, her explanation of why she popped dirty and said, hey, it wasn't me. I don't know nothing about that. I'm a clean athlete, blah, blah, blah. And the Haniacs don't have no problem with that. She just fought yesterday to a no contest as well. You know, so I just find it very hypocritical. You got people, they're putting like googly eyes and comments every time because Alicia go, Bumgarner, she bad. Like she look, you know, she fine. So she looked good. So you got people who are like gawking at her. And because she's a woman that looks good, you know, people are just assuming that she's innocent and what's the difference like i'm just asking you guys the question what's the difference other than one's a male one's a female one you might you know have a crush on and one you don't but other than that what's the difference ryan explain why he tested positive and say he don't know nothing about it just like most people that test positive they they act like they don't know so it's funny how people pick and choose which parties that they want to believe but anyway like I said, this ain't my battle. We'll see how it plays out and how far this lawsuit gets. But some of the talking points seem very thin, very thin. That's Ryan Garcia's reaction. And subscribe.